19-year-old Frankie Hudson is braver than most young women her age. She has to be. She has no other option. The Hudsons have faced cancer more times than any family should, but they're not doing it alone. There is no room at the inn on Christmas morning at the Hudsons. Unlike most teenagers, Frankie cherishes the chaos. It's pretty hectic. <laughs> uh, Christmas is, is pretty ginormous, like we're squashed in, especially now that we're starting to have kids of our own and stuff and there's just people everywhere. <laughs> Frankie is number seven of ten children in a family plagued by a genetic cancer gene. So far, she has lost her father and two sisters to the disease. Does your family ever just go, why us? All the time stop please like the universe needs to leave us alone um and every time we start a new year it's just like a thought it's just like are we going to be okay this year the hudson family's relentless cancer journey began when her baby sister bridget died at just one year old then frankie's father ross lost his battle with bowel cancer as a young girl you never really think you're going to grow up without a dad like you just gonna think that your dad's gonna walk you down the aisle and he's gonna be there when you start having kids and that. So the minute I lost my dad, it was just like, it was just a whole new experience. I didn't really know how I was gonna do life without it, but I've, I've survived. In the same year, Frankie's sister, Talia, was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I did this exact same thing I did with dad and I was like, it's okay, we're gonna be okay. And um, I watched her go along with her treatments and her cancer journey and I just, always just thought it was going to be okay. She battled that cancer and like a boss, like for seven years, my sister battled that thing. All of the Hudson children were tested for the cancer gene. The five boys and one girl are negative, but Frankie and her little sister Mackenzie weren't so lucky. The doctor asked for both me and Mackenzie to come in with my mum and we sat out in the hallway with my, like as the doctor spoke to my mum and I sat there and I was like, We've got it. <laughs> I just looked over at my sister and I was like, we have it. Then, at the tender age of 17, came the news Frankie had feared when doctors found a lump in her thyroid. He was like, I need to send this away for testing, but I don't really need to. It's, it's cancer. And yeah, and those are the exact words and I don't think I'll ever forget was the minute I found out from my specialist that I had thyroid cancer. It was um, pretty heart-wrenching finding that, getting that kind of news. Now studying to be a teacher, relapsing is always in the back of her mind. People always say to me, like, you're so brave, like, to be going through this kind of stuff and be all right with it, but it's just, I have no other choice but to, to accept it and to be like, this is my life and all I have to do is just battle it. A battle Frankie says she has faced with some very special people by her side. I kind of took notes from the battle with Talia. Um, to figure out how it was gonna be like when I got the cancer journey. But um, the difference was I had the support of Canteen with me, so it was a lot easier for me to handle everything that was going on, knowing that I had people behind me. And I think it's something like 90% of young people uh, can't imagine having gone through their cancer journey without Canteen there. Because when you stop to think about what a cancer experience might be like for a young person, it's way beyond what society prepares them um, to be going through. Canteen's Ross Jacobs says the organisation's iconic square piece of cloth has become so much more than a bandana. It's a really powerful symbol to Australia as a whole when you're wearing a bandana on Bandana Day that you're in the corner of young people. You understand what a young person who's impacted by cancer is going through and that they don't have to go through that alone. Frankie says it should also act as a reminder for us all to be grateful and live in the now. Just take your time. Don't rush everything. Like, you just need to just take a second to breathe. I see families that aren't dealing with what we're dealing with and I want them to appreciate what they have and that they can wake up every day and be, and like know that they, there's nothing that's gonna be going wrong. So well said, Frankie, and we wish you and your family all the very best. Canteen's Bandana Day is on the 30th of October, and this year you can also buy face masks with some really great designs as well. All the details to help them out on our homepage.